Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this very easy everyday fall makeup look. If you're like me and you're super busy, you don't have a lot of time to spend on your makeup each morning, then this look is for you. I call this my lazy makeup look because this is just what I do on a daily basis when I don't have a lot of time. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching and I will get started. I'm starting with my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm using the color Silk Cream all over my eyelid with a flat shader brush. Now just blending that out with a large fluffy brush. Next, I'll be taking the color Mocha and I will be using this color as an eyeliner today. Just applying it with a small angled brush. Now I'll be taking the color Central Park and applying this to my eyebrows. I've been letting my eyebrows grow out lately so they are such a mess. So right now I'll just be filling in my eyebrows and giving them some shape. Notice the breakout on my forehead. It's a struggle these days to keep my skin clear. Now just brushing through them with a spoolie brush. Now taking the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and just coating my eyelashes a few times with this absolutely love the brush on this mascara because it just takes each individual lash and separates it and just makes it look super long and healthy. Now taking the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil and applying this to my waterline. And applying a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes as well. Now I will be taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and applying this all over my skin just to minimize my pores and I'll be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and blending that out with a Real Techniques Diamond Sponge. The color is a little bit dark, but once I get my concealer on, it just blends really well. For highlighting and contour, I'm using the Maybelline Master Contour V Shape Duo Stick. This is a product that I'm really loving lately because it's super convenient, easy to use, and you can just throw this in your makeup bag for on the go. If you're in a rush, it just is so simple. The colors are very, very creamy and super blendable. I'm using the color light. Now taking the Kat Von D Locket Cream Concealer and applying this to the T-zone area of my face. And I'll just be blending this in, applying that lighter color concealer to those areas just makes everything look super bright and fresh. As you can see, the contour stick is extremely blendable. Like I said, it's just super easy to use. Now taking the Maybelline Better Skin Powder, applying this all over my skin. And using my Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Glow, which is my absolute favorite. I am totally obsessed with this bronzer. It works 
during all seasons. I mean, it's gorgeous in the summer. It's gorgeous in the winter. Um, I love to use it in the fall especially because it just warms up the skin. Such a beautiful color for all skin tones. Now I'm taking my Tarte blush in the color Party. As you know, this is one of my favorite blushes. If you watch my videos, I use it a lot. Now I'm taking one of my favorite products that I use in this video and it is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. And this color is absolutely beautiful. It's the metallic highlighter and the shade is Molten Gold. I'm so obsessed. A little goes a long ways and it just makes your skin look so healthy. And popping that on the inner corners of my eyes because that is really going to make everything look fresh and awake as well. Now taking the NYX Lip Liner in the color Alabama and I'm just lining my lips with that. I'll be using the Milani Matte Lip Cream in the color Loved. This is one of my favorite lipsticks at the moment and it honestly dries down to such a beautiful finish and these last a very long time. I'm very impressed with this lipstick. Okay guys, so that was it. I told you it was totally effortless and this will be like your favorite go-to fall makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you've not already and I'll talk to you guys next time.